Document 360 provides a host of analytics features that can be invaluable in understanding end user engagement while providing various insights into the performance and effectiveness of your knowledge base. These features are available for all users who are on the business plan or above. Let's look at the different analytics categories in Document 360. The Geography section is designed to quickly give you the big picture view on customer engagement. You can easily get to see which countries are generating the most traffic to your knowledge base. Performance gives you a high level view into how your audience is engaging with your content. This includes data on things like total likes, dislikes, views and reads, as well as leading authors, articles, categories and countries. The ability to sort this information can tell us which articles are doing well, as well as target articles or categories that may be performing poorly. For example, if I sort by dislikes, I can quickly find articles that may need more attention and take the appropriate measures to improve the quality of the content. Search analytics can be seen as one of the most important tools for a knowledge base. Since a majority of users will be utilizing the search functionality, this data can give the admin or owner a wealth of information including the total number of searches and the number of users who made use of the search function over a period and the popular search terms. More importantly, it captures data on the percentage of searches that return no results. The no result keywords are captured by the analytics system, and if you notice a certain keyword appearing at a high frequency, it could indicate that you may need to tweak the existing documentation, like adding relevant article tags, or create an entirely new article addressing this keyword. Team accounts will give you data on the team members working on your project, and you can sort through the number of articles created by the author, total views, when their last contribution to the knowledge base was, and the last login. Clicking on a team member will show information on the articles they created, as well as their most viewed articles. This analytics can show you how each of your team members are contributing to the project. The feedback category captures information on the number of likes and dislikes on an article, as well as any comments that a user may have provided. This is useful in responding to your users and finding out what is working and what is not. For example, I can see that there is a dislike on this article with a comment from a user, which I can click and do what's necessary to address the remark. The Links status page gives you a holistic view on the number of working and broken links across your knowledge base. Broken links negatively impact the overall user experience and is also detrimental to your search engine optimization or SEO. The primary objective of this category is to help you identify and fix broken links. Document 360 does an automatic validation every 7 days, but you can also run a manual validation to check for any broken links. If you run any article level validation, it will show up here. The Page Not Found feature helps you effectively deal with 404 errors occurring in your knowledge base because of content being moved or deleted. It provides data on the number of hits to a specific non-existent URL and captures data on any mistyped URLs coming in from individual users, bots, and other sources. Given this information, we can then decide whether to deploy an article redirection or ignore it if it's not important or no longer relevant to our business. If you have set up ticket deflectors in your knowledge base, the ticket deflector analytics can give you data on things like total number of searches and the number of forms submitted, the top 5 frequently asked questions, along with the most useful articles. You can also get feedback left by users and data on customer satisfaction. The search page will list out the most frequent search terms and the number of answers that were resolved through the knowledge base. Analytics also captures data from your knowledge base assistant if you have set one up. A great way to visualize how your knowledge base is currently performing is by comparing the available analytics from past time intervals. For example, if I wanted to know which article had the most reads in the last quarter, I can go to the performance analytics and filter by previous quarter. Or to know how my traffic is changing and which country is generating the most visits over the last 90 days compared to the previous quarter, I can just go here and view the results. Upgrading to a business plan or above will get you access to these powerful analytics tools that enable you to always stay on top of every area of your knowledge base performance. And with all this information into how your knowledge base is functioning empowers you to make data-driven decisions 